Welcome to Mathematics Alive. Our lesson for today is properties of real numbers. First, we have commutative property. For all real numbers A and B, the following properties apply. Commutative property for addition, A plus B is equal to B plus A, or 3 plus 5 is equal to 5 plus 3. And commutative property for multiplication, a times b is equal to b times a, or 3 times 5 is equal to 5 times 3. Meaning that if you change the position of the two numbers being added or being multiplied, the answers will be the same. The root word for the word commutative is commute, meaning to change position or to transfer from one position to another. Associative property. For all real numbers A, B, and C, the following properties hold. Associative property for addition and associative property for multiplication. In associative property of um, adding two or three numbers, we first group together two numbers at a time and then add the next number. So the quantity A plus B plus C is equal to the quantity A plus A plus the quantity B plus C. Two plus three plus five is equal to two plus the quantity three plus five. So whichever you add first, it doesn't matter. As long as you are adding, the answer will be the same. For associative property for multiplication, A times B times C is equal to A times the quantity B times C. The quantity 2 times 3 times 5 is equal to 2 times the quantity 3 times 5. The commutative and associative properties can permit us to add or multiply numbers in any order and in any grouping. Here are some examples. Letter A, 42 plus 2 and 1 fourth plus 36 plus 5 and 3 fourths. We have two whole numbers being grouped together and two um, mixed numbers being grouped together so that the addition will be easier. And the answer is 78 plus 8 is equal to 86. For letter B, 3 fifths times 4 times 20 times 9. We group together the fraction and the number which can cancel with the denominator 5. So we cancel 20 and 5, we get 4 and we multiply the rest. And the answer is 12 times 36 is equal to 432. Number three, existence of the additive identity element. There exists one and only one real number, which is zero, called the additive identity element such that for any real number A, a plus zero is equal to A, or zero plus A is equal to A. The examples are self-explanatory. Number four, existence of a multiplicative identity element. There exists one and only one real number, one called the multiplicative identity element, such that for any real number A, a times 1 is equal to A, or 1 times A is equal to A. Again, the examples are self-explanatory. Number 5. Existence of additive inverse. For every real number A, there exists a unique real number, negative of A, the additive inverse of A such that A plus negative A is equal to zero and negative a plus a is equal to zero. So if you add two numbers with 
opposite signs, the result will be equal to zero. Existence of multiplicative inverse. For every real number A, there exists a unique real number, one over A, called the multiplicative inverse or reciprocal of A such that A times the reciprocal one over A is equal to one, or one over A times A is equal to one. Moreover, A over B times B over A is equal to one. So when we multiply, example number one, three times one third, we cancel the three and the answer is one. Number two, we cancel the five and the answer is one. And number three, uh, four and four cancels, seven and seven cancels, and the answer is one. Number seven, distributive property of multiplication over addition. For any real numbers, A, B, and C, A times the quantity B plus C is equal to A times B plus A times C. And if we put the multiplier C after the parenthesis, we multiply it backwards. So we have AC plus BC as the answer. Number one example, one third is multiplied to the quantity inside. So we have one third times six X and one third times 12. Canceling the numbers six and three, we get two X and canceling 12 and three, we get four. So the answer is two X plus four. Number two, the multiplier one over seven is distributed inside the parentheses. So we have 21 divided by seven is three and seven divided by seven here uh, leaves negative y. So the answer is three minus y. And number three, we have three multiplied to the quantity inside. So we have three times two a is six a, three times three b is nine b, and three times negative four c is 12 c. Now, we have some uh, examples here, and please name the property of real numbers that is illustrated by each of the following. And then check it with the next slide. Here are the answers. Quoting from Galileo Galilei, Mathematics is the language with which God has written the universe. So since math is a language, it has also its grammatical rules and the grammar of mathematics are the properties that we have just discussed. Did you find this video helpful? Please like it, share it, and subscribe to this channel by clicking the button below. Have a nice day and keep safe. God bless us all.